This tutorial covers challenge four Arch in the FTC simulator. If you ever need a refresher on the steps, you can click the green logic board button and at the top, click guide to help yourself navigate. Hello everyone, my name is Shanice from Youth Culture and we'll be working with the FTC Sim Movement lesson today. And we also have Costa here who will be working with the simulator with us. Hi everyone, as Denise said, my name is Costa and I'll be running through this tutorial with everyone. So first, we're gonna be clicking the green logic board button on the left. And before we select and click any block, it's important to click the zoom button on the right side of the logic board for better viewing. We'll be introducing two new blocks today, starting with the reverse block. So this block allows the numbers for our left and right motor to stay the same while moving forwards and backwards. So let's move on to the blocks now. On our left side, we'll start by clicking actuators and then DC motor. We will then select and drag the second direction reverse block and bring it to our logic board. And we're going to be putting this block right under the blue block that says put initialization blocks here. So next we'll add our first motor block. Our objective here is to have the robot travel around the arch to reach the flag. So in order to do that, we'll first change the direction that the robot is facing so that it's not blocked by the wall. So we can first get our first motor block by clicking actuators, DC motor, and then dual, and attaching this block right under put run blocks here. Perfect. So since we want to change the direction of the robot, we can set the left value to one and the right value to negative 0.4. We make the 0.4 negative here as we want to change the direction of the robot on its spot only. Now we'll add our new sleep block. This block controls how long your movement lasts for in milliseconds. This block also allows us to give us a break before we start onto our new movement. We can get the sleep block right under linear op mode from the top left of our screen, and we can attach this right under our last motor block. So since we do not need the turning movement to last too long, we can simply set the time in milliseconds to 200. Now we just have to make the turn in the leftward direction to the flag. And we can add our last motor block and attach it right under the sleep block we just added. And since we're turning in the left direction, we can set the left motor to 0.4 and the right motor to 1. Perfect, so let's click the run button to see what happens. Perfect, so we've completed challenge 4. So just to add one more important thing, you should click the save, at, save button at the end of your challenge to save your code. Now that Tanisha and I have run through th this tutorial, I would like to add a few things. For challenge 4, our objective is to make the robot turn rightwards so it is not facing the wall and then turn left all the way towards the flag. In this tutorial, we learned to use the reverse block and sleep block. The reverse block helps us to remember the directions of the motor and the sleep block will stop or sleep the movement from continuing for a specific amount of time. First, you place a movement block. For all the movements, this pattern is followed until you reach the flag. Hope you all learned something today and have a great day.